Um, we're going to start with this one of the waves over here. Can I hold it up? And Ilham, would you like to say why you think it's beautiful? I think it's beautiful because of the colours. Yeah. Because there's mm. green and then there's pink and then there's blue. And when I was there, it was the first time I've ever saw pink waves. So I, I thought it was really beautiful. Did you say when you were there? So tell me how you got this photograph. Did you? I went, on, I went to Egypt and on the beach. And then I, when we came, there was nobody there. So then we took a picture of it and it was really beautiful. You actually went there? I thought you just took it from the computer. Yeah, the others one to one from the computer, but this one's real. That's mm. interesting, because I, I looked at these pictures this morning and I thought, wow, these are really great images. But I get, I, like you, Sarah, I thought that she got them from the computer and I'm amazed yeah. to hear Pink that, was it you or someone in your family took no, the photo? Or, um, somebody in my family. Wow, so, so is, this a, is this a photograph that your other members of your family really think is beautiful as well? And how do you feel when you look at this photograph? I feel like I'm on the beach. <laughs> feel like you're on the beach, good. What else? Mm -hmm. I feel like the water's just on me. Like, I like, it feels like I can feel the water running through my hands. Like. And it's, you have a memory of being there. Now, who would like to ask? Amar, why do you think your image is beautiful? because it's like a rainbow it has lots and lots of colors and it just looks so realistic and there's a bit of water down here that reflects it and makes it look more even more nice beautiful the the background i think is really really good because um the colors really uh, like when the colors are shining onto the background it just looks like you know so real and but if you picked another color like green say or yellow but this is a black black background mm. and if you pick green or yellow i mean it wouldn't be as good as it is when the black the background is black and you and um, in the shades uh, in the blue in the pink in the other blue on the right or uh, far right I can, it's like seeing real people but in the middle it's like I can see this man with a beard and a moustache staring out at me and, and it, yeah and um, on on the blue bits it's like knights or something guards guarding them and that's what I think why I think the picture is beautiful that's what I think um, Daniel um, where'd you get that picture from? I got it from my um dad's album yeah um he printed it um a couple of years back and he thought it was really beautiful when i asked him yeah and he gave me it and i was like he gave me one first another one that was definitely not as beautiful as this one i was like i want something more colorful and then he searched through his drawers you know stuff like that picked one out and gave it to me which uh, luckily it was this one luckily i had it yeah, that, that's where I got it from. Mustafa, I'm really interested in hearing about this image. Can I hold it up for people so we can all see it at the same time? I was wondering whose picture was that? Let's, um, let's, let Mustafa have, uh, have his say first. He's going to describe why he chose this picture to represent his idea of beauty. Mustafa. <coughs> First of all, I like the setting and the scenery. I like how the, it showed that the flower was blossoming. And I also think it represents like the, the process of life. And, and I think thinking of the flower and the scenery, it looks very beautiful and it all connects well together. I have to say, that was a really excellent description wasn't it Abigail? Thank you. Can you... I wish that I had my pen in my hand when you started speaking so I can remember the things which you just said. You used the word connect. Can you tell me what, what you said again? The scenery and the flowers and the, and the grass and everything, it all connects to make one beautiful picture all connect to make one beautiful picture. I'm just going to write that down. 
before we move on to your questions, what do you think about that description, Abigail? When you were saying about um, life, like process of life, um, um, it was a good description, but I'm not trying to be rude or anything, <laughs> but some of those flowers look like adult flowers. That's no. Like they've been already grown. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I know. So, like, so this is ch this is these flowers are like the background, but it's mainly about this flower I'm talking oh. about. Because like it started off small and it grows. Like when you start off as a baby, you grow into an adult, and then you go into a child, then an adult. Yeah, and then life cycle.